can tell you as a department, we're committed to reform. We have been committed to reform before I arrived, and it's just accelerated over the last year with a number of uh, efforts that we have going forward. And those efforts are highlighted in this 50-page document that was sent to the DOJ today outlining the efforts the department has taken. Sullivan says as the investigation nears an end, he found it important to not only outline the actions the department has and continues to take for the DOJ, but also the community as a whole. The city is requesting that instead of a consent decree, if that is in fact the route the DOJ takes, the feds instead present what's called a technical assistance letter that's more of an alternative solution instead of full government control. To help with the findings, the department has hired counsel that has experience as a monitor who oversaw consent decrees before, which may help their position in how to move forward. Consent decrees are long in, in that there are a number of uh, requirements in the document and the experience over the last 20 years has demonstrated that the consent decrees take a very long time, that they're very expensive for the police department and the jurisdiction and that the, the goal line is not clear to a lot of people. Now, Sullivan and legal counsel with the department say they have not been told when the DOJ findings will be released, but when they are, they will be read in detail and determined from there on how to appropriately move forward. Jared.